Finding a good, affordable, and capable mountain bike is hard in today's market, but finding a reasonably priced women's mountain bike that's ready to rip right out of the box is even harder. That's all changed with the Vitas Mythique VRW. The Mythique was introduced back in 2019 as an affordable trail bike that had modern geometry, a great build, and was ready to shred without having to upgrade anything. The women's model, the VRW, which we're reviewing today was introduced back in 2021. Let's deep dive into it. The frame is made from aluminum alloy and uses a horsed four bar suspension design. The frame tubing has a beautiful shape and the only color available is pearl gray. It's also offered in sizes small, medium, and large. The Mythique has a conservative 66.5 degree head angle, 435 millimeter chain stays, and a wheelbase which puts it right in the middle of the trail bike category. 29 inch wheels are only offered in the men's, not the women's, so 27 half is your only option. The bike comes with the X-Fusion RC32 Boost Air Fork with 130 millimeters of travel, 32 millimeter sanctions, and 46 millimeter offset, fork lockout and rebound adjustment. The shock is an X-Fusion O2 Pro R with 130 millimeters of travel and rebound adjustment. Unfortunately, there's no lockout. Bike shown has the nuke proof urchin bars, but the stock bars if you order it is the nuke proof Neutron V2 risers, which are 760 millimeters width for all sizes. The wheels are WTB i30s with Vetus in-house hubs. They came with tubeless tape already installed, so the only thing that you need to convert to tubeless is to buy tubeless valves. They come with the Schwalbe Magic Mary in the front and the Schwalbe Hans Dampf in the rear. It's an all Shimano build with the crankset being a Dior M5100 with a 32 tooth chainring and 170 millimeter crank arms. A Dior M5120 derailleur, 10 speed with a clutch to keep the chain slap at a minimum. A Sunrace 10 speed 46 tooth cassette. An MT41 hydraulic disc brakes with 180 millimeter rotors front and rear. A nuke proof neutron saddle and a Brand X Ascent dropper post. Since this bike is a size small and I'm way too big to fit on it, I won't be able to assess how it rides. But luckily enough, this is my wife's bike, so she was able to give me her feedback. Now keep in mind, she's fairly new to mountain biking, so the thoughts are based on a beginner who has minimal experience with other bikes. Prior to the Vitas, she owned a Trek Cali. She feels that the Vitas climbs extremely well, especially compared to the Trek. The shifting is really smooth and the gearing is great. And she really, really enjoys the air suspension and finds it very confidence inspiring. And even though it doesn't have a lockout, she never felt that the bike needed one. Also, she does feel the brakes work extremely well, but the only complaint that she had with the brakes is they don't have much modulation and kind of a wooden feel to them. Also, the bike does feel a little long to her. So she feels that the tight corners are a little challenging. But in contrast, the bike does go over rocks and obstacles really easy and is very confidence inspiring. Even though my wife loves this bike, she did note that the dropper post didn't go all the way into the frame. This is due to the linkage going through the C-tube, which hinders how much the dropper can be inserted. This isn't a deal breaker, but it is kind of annoying. What you see here is a cost versus value analysis that I created. It's a breakdown of all the parts of the bike, so you can determine how much it would cost to build this bike from scratch and determine a value based on the sum of its parts. So the Mythic VRX at the time of this recording retails for $1,800 US. The total cost of all the parts on this bike, if you were to purchase separately, is over $2,500. So to keep it simple, that means that you save $700 from buying the bike whole as opposed to buying all the parts individually and building yourself. Please keep in mind that this is only an estimate. Prices can vary based on cost at the time of purchase and availability. Here's a comparison of the Mythique VRW with the Mythique VR, which is the men's version with the same build kit. So the frames and geometry are identical, but the men's gets available 29 inch wheels in all sizes, a size extra large, wider handlebars on the size large and extra large, and has a 30 tooth chainring instead of the 32 on the women's. Overall, I think this bike is an incredible value. The quality and components that you get is amazing. And it's nice to see a company that still makes good, affordable mountain bikes. I'm hoping to get my hands on one for review so I can give you my impressions on how they ride. But until then, I think it's a must buy. Thank you for watching. Peace.